Hello everyone. We are back once more. Today I'm very excited for this master class. So we are back here every Wednesday for one master class, one of the big master of photography. So today I'm very excited because this guy is I mean I follow him everywhere because his work is amazing. He's one of the most award photographer in the world. Just for you to get to know him a little bit, I know I'm sure you guys know him already, but for the people here for the first time, I'm going to introduce him. So he's a master of photography. He's top 10 China photographer, portrait photographer. He's WPC, the best of nations of 2020. He's one of the most successful Malaysia photographer. He won over 400 awards. Look at that, guys. He won over 400 awards worldwide with his photographers. And he's also a judge. Means he understands the craft he's doing, guys. So I'm very happy to, uh, and not, not just that, he also a speaker and so many events around the world. So saying that, uh, I'd like to invite you, Master Roger Tan, to be part of our master class today. So I'm going to add him here. Hello, Master Roger Tan. Welcome to our Expert Life of Ape Association. Thanks for you to be here. It's a pleasure to have you. Hello, hello, everyone. Yeah, thanks, EPA, for, for the invitation. Yeah, uh, Let's see. Uh, actually, uh, if I want to uh, view from my phone, do I have the link? Yes, I can send the link uh, to your mobile. Could you send the link to Roger? Yeah, because um, yeah, maybe later I need to answer a question. I, okay, I can yes. have a look Just, Okay, yeah. I'm going to send you right now the link of the Facebook. Uh, and on YouTube, yes, on YouTube. On YouTube? Yes. Today a very special day, guys. So don't go away because this live today we master Roger Tan you talking about composition and lighting. That thing is very important for our photographer, our photography. So don't go away. So spare for us. So I'm sure we will learn something from him because he understands everything he's doing his craft. Master Hojitan, welcome to our life, our master class of AIP Association. Thank you very much for being here to spare your time with yours, with people all over the world. So give you some tips for people helping out all the photographers they are seeing us now. I'm sure it's gonna be he very helpful for them to learn from you. Thank you. No problem, I try my best. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, I have the YouTube link. Okay. Another thing guys, before Master Roger Tan starts, uh, if you want to make a question, please write down the comments. Uh, uh, we'll be able to answer all the questions when we finish the presentation, the master class, okay? And please also share this live because it's very important for all of us photographers. Thank you. Let me change the light to... Okay, so I share screen now. Yes, now I'm going to leave you guys with Master Roger Tan. He's going to introduce himself. He's going to show a bit of his work. Yes, after that, he's starting teaching us, give you something. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, my name is Roger. I come from Malaysia. Yeah, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, you can, Master. Yes. 
have this perfect. Okay, no problem. I, I have a slideshow. I yeah, to show you. Okay. Can you hear me? Last thing, one, two, three. I can't hear you. Uh, I think. Okay, okay. Can you hear me? Okay, okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Yeah. As you guys can see, uh, 
the picture is, it speaks for itself. So amazing pictures. The work is, is spot on. That's why I'm a huge fan. And uh, we are looking forward for today. So now I'm going to leave you from Master Roger Tan. So he's going to explain the way he prepared his shooting, the lighting, the composition, everything else. So Master Roger Tan, we feel you now. Okay, I continue to share the screen. <laughs> yes. Okay, so uh, today my topic is lighting and composition. So uh, this is really uh, important uh, when you do the com uh, competition. So uh, I will explain a few techniques for you. Uh, I hope you love it. Okay, uh, one the first one I want to share uh, show you is uh, inside the composition is a scale. Uh, I've searched the net uh, website. Uh, I, I saw that quite a lot of rules of third. Actually, uh, rules of third can be divided to different type of uh, technique inside. Uh, I will show you. Uh, this is my ninth third competition. Okay. Uh, so inside the picture, you have nine blocks. Yeah. And uh, the important thing is uh, I, I, I do it with the cool and warm color. So the warm color part is the uh, important part. So I show you the uh, picture first. So you can see uh, this is the nine third technique. The important picture, just put it in the three three blocks inside. Okay. So the lighting is uh, like that. Uh, actually, this picture I I took it around ten ten years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now uh, the lighting system. Uh, I didn't I didn't mention I just tell you how I feel the light okay so uh, at the right top have a sunlight so the sunlight is uh, to create the shape of the model so uh, for a while, I, I try to find out the oh I think the keynote don't have a pen inside Never mind, never mind. I just, uh, okay, I continue. So uh, the sunlight, because it's evening, not so strong and very cloudy. So uh, I will, uh, I feel the light to the model face and body uh, because uh, from the original picture, the, uh, the model is too contrast, uh, means the darkest part don't have any detail so I need to feel a light uh, so I give the normally how we uh, how we know the power of the light is like that uh, it's really logic uh, like from evening the, the sunlight is really strong uh, I will use one uh, one one by one okay the full power of the light so uh, now it's evening the sunlight is covered by a lot of cloud so uh, the light is not so strong and also warm so i will put with the power with uh one four uh, is it called one four i don't know okay uh, i just write it here so i feel the light to the model to make the uh, darkest part got detail okay So I show you another one. Okay. Uh, the cool color is the important part. Cause uh, uh, maybe I got a mistake, uh, but it's okay. Yeah. You can see sometimes not only three. You can use six on also. Depends uh the composition. So uh, you can see the nine column here. Got six column filled with the uh, purple color. 
So this is the important part. I do the competition, uh, comp composition. So I put the uh, model at the middle to make the picture looks balanced. And also uh, the lighting here is like that because uh, the background lighting uh, is a bit f flat because uh, it's really cloudy. Uh, on that time, don't have any sunlight, but uh, also not too dark. Uh, and I feel the light to the model face because the light is from the top. Uh, the model face got a bit butterfly shadow, so I need to feel a light. Uh, and then the, the light cannot uh, too far because I just want to do some concentrate light to the model face and body. And uh, cannot uh, top to lower because uh, I don't want the shadow. Because the picture you can see here, the background, the, sh the lighting is from the top. So uh, I don't think the shadow can go to the right. So uh, I just apply the lighting from the left uh from the body from the body to the model's head okay oh. the next okay uh this one always either six column or three columns now i try to apply the uh to the model or bright to the three column inside the blue column so you can see this picture compare with this composition so the bright is at the right uh, down okay the three column down here okay so you can see this picture is like that uh, how do i create the composition Okay, with the nine third. Okay, the lighting here. Uh, actually, the the lamp, the lamp of the yeah the when the models hold the lamp, the lamp is uh without light. But I need to imagine, cause the light is lower than the model body, so you can see the uh the shadow of the model is a bit high, because the 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 light is low, okay. Uh, so, but when the model hold the the, the lamp, uh, I I don't have any light inside, so I need to fill with frost, okay. So, uh, you can see. Uh, the first one, one over eight, plus two. Uh, I make the lighting far a bit, cause I don't want the light too harsh. So you can see the model face is a bit soft light to a model face. So uh, the, the down one, one over eight plus three, the light is lower than the model face a bit because I want to create a shadow at the right. Uh, you can see the lighting here uh, is more power than the top one because uh, when the model holds the light, the light is stronger than the surrounding light. So I need to lower the lighting to create a, a shadow and also the uh, logic logic light to the model, model's face and body. Okay. I, I always wrong quick. Okay. Okay, this is a... Uh, uh, shoot from the China brick wall. Okay. Uh, you can see the sunlight from the right top. So when the sunlight fill to the model face, uh, the model face got half is dark one. So I need to feel another light to the model face. Okay, uh, one, the first one, the blue light, uh, one over four, is at the top, uh, right top. The light is much over the model's head because I want to create a fake lighting, uh, like uh, fake, fake sunlight to the model's face. 
So the light must uh, over the model's head, try to get uh, more higher, higher. But uh, the brick wall is a bit uh, dangerous, so I didn't uh, make it really high. I just want to create the light. Uh, you can see the model face. The light is uh, bright, brighter than the skirt. Because uh, the skirt is uh, more far to the light. Okay. Another is uh, 1 over 6 plus 16 plus 3 uh, is for the fill light to fill up all the uh, mid tone and shadow. Because I want to get more detail to the photo. Okay. So you can see I use the. Uh, I divided to nine uh, blocks and I take the tree to do the composition. So now it's the middle one. I, I take the middle tree, I, I change it to blue. This is my composition. Okay. So you can look at this picture. So I put all the important uh, part for the picture is at the middle. Okay, uh, this lighting actually is from top. Uh, actually, nothing to uh, describe for this. It's really easy. Uh, even though if the sunlight is strong, you can use the sunlight. Okay, you can see this composition. I take the down tree to change uh, to composition. So you can imagine this picture, you divided to nine blocks and I take the uh, down tree for the for my uh, most important part to create the picture. Okay, so this picture not easy to not easy to take. Uh, I will show you why I will show you why. Because uh, when you look at this picture, you can see a lot uh, that the windows is not transparent. Uh, the windows reflect the sky and tree inside the the, the window. So uh, actually, you cannot you can't see through the window. But uh, have one technique because uh, you can see the shadow the shadow of the tree here is really dark. So. When the uh, outside is darker than inside, you can see inside thing. So uh, I put the model to the uh, first floor. So uh, inside I apply the lighting. So uh, the lighting inside the uh, this hotel is brighter than outside. So you can see the mo model. Okay. So uh, I will show you the picture. You can see the reflection uh, can't see through. I dot out the red dot. And also the plus from uh, left and right. OK, so uh, the left power is stronger than light, right? It, because uh, the motor is facing to the left. So I put the left uh, stroke power is more stronger, 1 over 16. Uh, and also the right side, you can see is just for feel like 1 over 64, okay? Okay, uh, actually I have another uh, technique. Just now is I take the three blocks. Now I try use the one night. I take one block on it, okay? To do the creation. So uh, you can see inside this picture, yeah, I just put one, the model at the blue box to create this picture. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so you can see the picture. The lighting is from the top. Just now it's flat. This one is strong because uh, the cloud is uh, gone, not cover the sunlight. So the sunlight can directly to the bottle. Also, uh, because the model uh, got the butterfly shadow, you can see at the building there is the that's evening. At this afternoon, the light the light is uh twelve of the afternoon. The light is from the top, so you can see the model 
uh, we'll have the butterfly shadow. Okay. So I put the light uh, at my back. So uh, I try uh, put as uh, try to put more uh, over six feet higher to feel the light to the model. So the lighting, uh, the lighting cannot uh, too wide. Try to use some uh, accessory to make the lighting more focused to the model's head. Because if too wide, uh, the the models uh, gun will uh, brown out over exposure. So you need to use uh, quite a lot of uh, different uh, accessory for. Him. Okay. Okay. Another again, the stem composition. You can put the blue. Uh, you can compose your model to any block of inside. Uh, but uh, I just have a sample here is uh, at the middle because the middle is more balanced and uh, yeah, more easy to get higher marks in competition. Okay. Okay, this one also. You can see nine windows at the back. Okay. So I take, uh, I put the model to the middle down uh, windows there. Okay. Okay, this one is really easy. Just need a few light because the light sunlight is from the left. So the more uh, actually it's client. The client, uh, the bride and groom here, uh, the the face become dark. So we need a few light to feel their face. So uh, you can see uh, the right hand side, the sunlight actually, especially the gown is white. So the sunlight. Wait for a while, I check something. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I wrong click my sound. Okay. Okay. You can see the from light from the left. It's very really strong. It's a sun, uh, strong sunlight. So the gown will change, uh, will easy to get uh, over exposure. So when you try to uh, make the gown not over, not too over exposure, the face will become really dark. So I need to hide a light to the staircase, the back of the staircase. Actually got a light inside to feel the light to the uh, bride and groom. So you can get more detail uh especially at the at the shadow part okay so uh just now is uh nine third nine one one nine uh now i have a one half so it's half so normally half composition is for reflection so you can look at this picture the half is the uh the other half is under water, reflection. So you can, uh, this is a uh, one half composition. Okay. One half also can, uh, not only horizontal, uh, you can vertical, horizontal also can. So this is uh, another example. Okay, uh, the picture got half, actually it's same, even though uh, both sides also in inside the water, but uh, this is still a one half composition. Okay. The lighting. Okay, uh, actually I've tried to, this is a composite image. Actually, uh, uh, I also try to put the model inside the board uh, and also in this area, but uh, the uh, the left and right, the reflection is not so even. So finally, I uh, no choice, I do the composite here. Okay. So another compos uh, composition technique is line. 
Uh, I call it starting source line. Okay, why well, call starting and source line? Because uh, when you look at this picture, okay, you can see the surrounding. The line is com uh, combined to the point. Okay, a middle middle point. I call it starting or source line. Okay, so uh, you can look at this picture. I just put the model or my subject to the starting and source line. Okay, this is another example. Okay, okay, you can look at this picture. Right? So this is a line composition. Okay, the lighting. Okay, you can uh, the middle. I write the the first the right the uh, the one with circle. Have a uh, windows here. Actually, the windows uh, have light. Yeah. So I need, need to imagine if the windows light to the models. So I need to create a highlight for them. So I hide. Uh, you can see a. Uh, uh, the red color with the yellow color here actually it's a it's a stroke is a light lighting here i put it at the back of the more uh bright and group okay so uh to create the uh very thin line to the hair and the face okay so uh we have a backlight to separate the model uh, to the background Okay. To separate the models, uh, not blend in into the background. So, uh, I need to face. Put. Okay. 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 Uh, so after that, I put two lighting. Also, the same technique. One is stronger than the other one. But this picture actually got. 10 years already. Uh, when that time, I'm not so strong in lighting. So uh, I put two with the 1 over 16 plus 3 light at the left. Actually, uh, for now, if I do again this shooting, I put the right side more power than, than the left side. Because uh, the Bright is facing to the right side. Uh, we must have a man light there. Okay. Okay. Another this one. Yeah. When you look at the picture, you can't see a line inside. Actually, uh, they have a guideline inside is uh, at the river, okay? So this is a source point or starting point. You can see the, the, the triangle at the river, the sharp part, the, sharp, the sharpest part. This is a starting point and, a, and also a source line point. So after that, I just put my model, uh, actually it's a near, near uh, put, just put the model near here. You can create a nice picture, okay? okay this one, uh, I think, got twelve years ago, <laughs> okay. Uh, but because of composition, uh, yeah. Uh, this uh, I seldom do this kind of picture, so I need to take an old picture inside here to show you, okay? Uh, the lighting is from the uh left top because uh of this area got many trees you can see the shadow got uh many uh round lighting and and leaf shadow so uh it's really how to say uh, because of this surrounding is uh, quite a lot of stone looks messy so i need to create a light to make the make a subject more in focus 
so the uh, the power is higher than the surrounding area a little bit but i totally forgot uh how much i save uh set because uh when this time i think i'm still using ttl okay okay this picture from melbourne melbourne okay it's a staircase uh you can see i com uh, i try to composite the uh the more the the subject to the meter okay i show you the lighting actually this part is really dark uh don't have any sunlight inside so uh yeah actually have a bit uh, not not uh, uh not means totally don't have still have a bit but uh not enough for you to use iso 100 to create this feature uh so normally i like to use uh, 100 ISO because I want to uh, make the picture more sharp and more detailed inside so uh, no choice I need to apply lighting inside so uh, when you when you look at this picture uh, the green part the green lighting is for the model's gown gown tail okay uh, the skirt because uh, this part really totally black so I need to feel a light to to their back first okay uh and the left right also at the down of the one over 64 uh to bounce the light actually the lighting is uh facing up to bounce the light to the surrounding area of the uh the downstairs staircase okay so the up staircase is uh, a bit dark so i need to feel another strong light you can see the blue, blue, blue marking I do it here. I, I finally have a few light from the top to to, to all, all over there to uh, make sure every part's got the uh, really uh, good information for the for the photo. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, inside the Paris Museum. Is it Paris Museum? I think, uh, yeah, it's inside Paris Uh Paris, not Paris Hilton, Paris Museum. Okay. Uh, okay, you can see a line. Uh, I didn't draw it up. You can see a line to the subject. Okay. So I put my subject here. Yeah. And uh, I try to create the lighting here. One is a uh, uh, one over four to make a, a window slide inside here. Cause the window uh, in that time the the lighting the uh, the outside lighting not very really strong. So I need to put another light to the window side to create a strong light. So of course this this picture will take uh, I take two pieces. Uh, one is without stroke, another got stroke. Normally, I take picture sometimes if the area too dark, I will do like this. Okay, uh, one over to to create a shape for the model uh, front head, nose, uh, the shoulder, and also the the gown. So you can see this picture, the lighting to her face, shoulder and gown okay another is feel light because the lighting is from the back of course front is uh, a bit dark so we need to feel light okay the green part is feel light uh no matter I, I didn't mention how many power but for logically if the back one is 104 the front one is uh, cannot stronger than the back one uh must uh around one over eight to one over sixteen okay okay another example uh actually this uh composition i forgot to write it down actually is frame uh i call it frame frame composition so and we look at this picture yeah got a triangle frame to frame out the important part okay So uh, get this composition. 
โอเคโอเค the lighting here okay uh we have a warm light and cool light but before the warm light and cool light you can see this picture is a bit uh blue because uh i tuned the white balance to 4000k so overall the pictures look a bit blue color and i feel the c light without gel uh the green light the the green side at, at the top right the green side light uh without gel so the the lighting here is still a blue color here uh without gel this is without gel but uh when you want to make a warm face you need to apply a gel inside the right uh, the left lighting there so i put a warm gel to the left lighting uh yeah for this picture i think the right is because uh, actually it's same power the light is because uh near the subject a bit so you can see the light is very strong the left one because uh, uh it's a bit far so you can look at this picture the light the light from the left side not too too strong but because this, this picture is uh got warm and cool normally if uh, warm color is brighter than cool is okay, still okay because uh uh our people eyes will look at the warm part as a important part okay so uh this picture also a frame frame in frame okay for two frame inside the lighting forget it uh okay just a just a top light uh from the front okay so this picture you also can see a frame inside here's a triangle frame okay so uh how do i apply the light actually uh the light is a natural light because i have a sunlight is in front to the model's face uh to, to the couple's face but uh the back is a bit dark so i create a light uh at their back to make a shape for them and also you can see their heads have a the back side have a triangle shape so this is a small frame uh composition okay yeah uh yeah uh, i have a facebook roger tan live if you uh Think not enough you can go inside uh, i have some video for editing to show you okay uh sen yes, i finish <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm just i'm just here appreciating all your pictures it's amazing the way you place the lights the way you you conduct your scene uh we have a question oh, uh, oh, from sure. rayana mm -hmm. roger who choose the location you or your clients and thanks very much very much for sharing all this with us she's saying uh, actually my clients uh, choose the uh, the location but uh, before shooting I will go have a uh, 15 minutes uh, ask them to rest 15 minutes I go to have a recce go surrounding uh, try to find out any good composition if don't have any uh, good place, I will I will use one point eight to <laughs> to to make the background blue. <laughs> That's yeah, all. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Mm. Uh, another thing is, uh, Roger, uh, the size of the lights. I know we saw so many where you place the lights. The size of the lights, because when you do weddings or like pre weddings, sometimes it's very difficult to carry big things, big lightings so what size of your uh, of your lights what size what like a dimension is a small one or you use big lighting uh normally uh if for overseas wedding uh pre-wedding i will use the uh, small one but now it's uh, quite a lot of uh, lighting it's really easy to carry now uh can you give me 
20 seconds, I go to take a light to show you. Okay, so yes. Then I come back 10, 20 okay, seconds. That's fine, okay. yeah. Okay. Guys, until Master Roger Tan is going to get the lights to show us, is it's time for you to make questions. Uh, he is here to answer all the questions. If you got any question to make, please uh, do now. Uh, we get the answer from him. So this is the opportunity, guys. So every weekend, every week, once every week, every Wednesday, we have uh, uh, one of the experts, APA experts, doing like a master class. So if you are not able to see the master class now, so you need to go through APA association, you see the master class of the all experts. So the intention here is to help all the photographers around the world to learn something for the experts, for the masters of photography. Yes, master. Yeah, so normally uh, I'll carry this slide. All right. Yeah. Mm, we call it AD200. Okay. So uh, with this accessory, okay okay so i have a magnet here so easy to easy to really easy to carry and some light you don't want to spread too much, too much. you can use this one the to cover doors. yes the barn doors to yeah. direct the lights yeah, yeah. Doors. yeah also uh i have quite a lot of uh, accessory here Agrees. Without this, the light is strong. Okay. I have, have a filter here also. A diffuser. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. I see. Easy, easy to carry. Yeah. It's very nice. So very easy, portable to carry. It's very important because when you carry some big light, it's very difficult to find a spot to place the light, isn't it? So small lights make our life easier. It's very good. Yeah. But some uh, some important shooting for commercial, I, I will prefer bring the big lights. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. For so commercial. Yes, yeah, yeah. it depends what you're going to do. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So there is another question from Boom Chiu Lo. Uh, forgive me if I say your name wrong, Boom. Uh, Roger, how you control the light not to spill the floor when you use the light from the top? So how you control the light for not to spill on the floor when you use from the top? Not to spill on the floor. Yeah, so how you control how you control the light not to spill, not to spread too much on the floor. Just how I already show you with this one. Yes. He just shows a hmm. uh, boom. He just used the bundles of the lights to direct yeah, the lights. So it's no mag mood, it's no mag mood. It's a master, if you got any sponsor about the lights, you can say the lights you use, yeah? feel free to say it. Oh, uh, okay. So Boom ask it's no mag mood, isn't it? It's no mag mood? No. No, no mag no. mood, no mag mood, no, no mag mood. And when you do the composition, master, uh, the composition, like, like a composite, yeah like especially yeah. for the competitions so how do you start your processing to do the composite so you go to the place to you see the place where you're going to create some images and after that you add your subject on it how do you prepare your scene uh actually when i go overseas shooting normally i will spend one to two days to go around uh to take some stock photo because it's stock photo and also many places uh if the place looks really special i will uh text take the photo to do some recording uh for for, for my record uh and after that uh if i try to imagine uh maybe a a, a place uh, uh imagine a place i will try to think what what stock photo i have and I try to combine them all together and uh, and with the composition to create this this picture, the, the composite picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you. Mm. Uh, Boom say he thank you very much for your answer, Roger. Boom. Chiu Lu. Lo. Mm. Mm. He's watching us. Oh, okay. Guys, this is the time. So we are nearly end in our master class with your master Roger Tom. Ma uh, who 
don't know much. Uh, Roger Tan is one of the EPA experts, so he will be giving some tips on EPA Association to to improve your photography, so we can learn not just from Roger but some uh, few experts we have. We have too many experts in EPA Association, so they give they will give you. Uh, some tips they will tell you how they use the creativity they use the light this is very important for us to add in our photographer and uh, Roger Tan as you know is one of the most awarded photographers in the world is very good in talent and humble as well it's very humble so I'm saying Master Roger thank you very much to spare your time here with all of you share your knowledge because this is a very important so if you guys could not see the live today of this masterclass you can go to EPA's website if there is a page of all the experts will be there so you need to log in and you'll be able to see again and see again so you can learn from there yes yeah? so epassociation.com and we have in future we're going to have a, a lot of new things and all the experts will be sharing so we're going to do some events as well so guys, be prepared. So let me see if you got any more questions, Mr. Roger. Let me see. Okay. Roger, I've got a personal question. Can I make you one? <laughs> okay, no problem. Yes. Yeah, uh, we know uh, when you're going to photograph a couple clients, so we need to yeah. go where they are and we need to create something yes on the place sometimes you give them like you said you give them 10 minutes to rest you're going to find a place where they are to create something unique for them yeah. yes but sometimes when you go for the competition competition is something particular it's where you're going to put your vision on your photography so how do you uh, prepare your photos for the competition uh, how do we start your scratch like I want to go for the competition for this category like a composite so so how do you prepare your shooting how do I prepare my shooting for the competitions uh, yes okay uh, as just now I described uh, the lighting actually is a uh, quite useful to, for many places. The lighting here for example, left, right, and also the back light. So uh, if I want to do some composite, this kind of lighting actually easy to do. Uh, you just can, you just directly cut it out. You also can do composite already. Uh, and the important part that I will, uh, when I go home, I will review every picture of my uh, my stock photo so and I will try imagine uh, this picture can create what kind of uh, location uh, after that uh, I will draw a guideline so uh, I try to cut it everything out and I will put there and then I will think is it special if not, not look special I will uh, reject it okay so okay. after that uh, maybe after try few time, a few picture, I will, I I'll come out uh, the the one I want. Yeah. Nice one, Mas. Thank you very much for your answer. I know it's it's very difficult for us, like in this situation we are, to go out and create something. But we're yeah. gonna go through this. Hopefully, this situation will be end soon, so we'll be able to travel. So do what we love the most is doing our photography. I'm sure this will be end soon. And I hope to see you by person, to get to know you by person. Uh, once more, I do thank you very much for your time being here with us to share your knowledge uh, with all the people are here today. And uh, many people is going to watch uh, because of the fuse time. So there where you are now is night time. And uh, here in mm. London, let's say we just wake up now 12 o'clock one o'clock now but in, in brazil is quite earlier but this video is going to go, is going to go uh, in too many places people will be able to watch you get to know you and your work as well uh, if you want to get to know more about uh, roger tan you can go to his social media 
Master Roger, could you tell people are here to tell where they can find work, where they can learn something more from you? You can tell them now. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I share screen again. Okay. Okay, for my Facebook, I have a Roger Dunn Life Insight. Uh, actually, before that, last year, I, I will do some uh, demonstration. So uh, inside still have a few video. Maybe you can learn something. You can, you can try to join it. Uh, and yeah, I will update it soon because uh, I'm, I'm preparing something at the moment. So I will update this uh, Facebook group soon. You will have a lot of things to learn inside. Good. Okay, that's all. Thank uh, you. Thank you. As I said, you can learn from Master Roger Tan on his Facebook page. You can follow him. There is a <coughs> Instagram or Facebook association as well. Some of small videos will be there as well. And also on Apple's website, you can get some tips from not just from Master Roger Tan, but from all the experts who will be there already. So give you some tips, give you some the way they do the photography. Master Roger Tan, so we are get to the end in our master class i'm so honored to have you here with us to share your knowledge i do appreciate for your time and uh, would you like to see some words for the people who are here so we will finish thank you and thank you uh also my honor yeah thank you very much so guys so next week uh, we'll be here again with another expert hope you guys enjoy so for me is a honor as i said it's a honor to learn from one of the top photographers in the world so i'm gonna say goodbye master Rogerson, once more thank you very much and i'll speak to you soon thank you